Now the second set of six, beginning from chapter seven, Bhagwan says, "I have talked enough about you, Arjuna. You means all jivas. Now you listen about me. Who am I? Now somebody may say, why do we want to know that?" So in these six chapters, here and there, Bhagwan has indicated, "You put your mind in me. You think of me." And he concluded the sixth chapter also with this understanding, with the statement that that yogi who has. अंतकरण इन मी मद्गते न अंतरात्मना श्रद्धावान भजते यो माम समय युक्त तमो मता है डेट योगी इज ग्रेट योगी ही सेस वन हु हैज अंतरात्मा मींस अंतकरण है माइंड इन मी व्हाट इज दिस मी सो भगवान नेवर टॉक्ड अबाउट हिमसेल्फ And therefore, anyone would naturally want to know, but who are you? So, you as you, son of Devaki and Vasudeva, Vasudeva Sutam, and Devaki Paramanandam, that Arjuna knew. About that, there was no doubt. But another thing that Bhagwan had mentioned. In fourth chapter, that O Arjuna, bahuni me vyatitani, janmani tavacharjuna, tanya ham veda sarvani, natvam vetha parantapa. That we both have gone through many lives. I know all of them. You don't. And then Bhagwan says, "I am unborn. Ajopi san nabyatma bhutanam Ishwaropi san. I am the Ishwara." In fifth chapter, he said, "Bhoktaram yagne tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram sridam sarva bhutanam gnyatva mam." Shanti Mrichati, last shloka of fifth chapter. See if you get some time, you should try to by heart Bhagavad Gita shlokas, because then only there is fun in studying Bhagavad Gita. You know, there is so much cross referencing in Bhagavad Gita, so it is very important. So Bhagwan says, "I am Sarva Loka Maheshwaram. I am the Ishwara of all beings. Bhutanam Ishwara ha, and I come with the help of my Prakriti, Prakritim Swamadeshthaya, Sambhavami, Atma Maya." And so, definitely, Bhagwan is, or that Sri Krishna is somebody other than. Only Vasudev and Devaki's son. There is some other identity also. So what is that? Now, if somebody wants to know that, who will be the right person to speak about that? Two people, two things can speak about Bhagwan. One is Bhagwan himself, and another is. Shruti, the scriptures. So, in this first session, we are going to listen about Bhagwan from Bhagwan's mouth, and in second session, in Panchadashi class, we are going to see about Bhagwan from Shruti, from Upanishad. So, Bhagwan says. I will tell you about myself. 
So this is one thing that is going to be the theme of this second set of six chapters. Another thing is when we say Bhagwan talked about Jiva. So what does Jiva do from morning till evening? It gets experiences in the world, right? And these experiences, they are available only through this external world. And therefore, what is that world? That is not explained yet. And therefore, Bhagwan is going to explain what this creation is also in this set of six chapters. So the theme is going to be Srishti and Srishti Karta. Creation and Creator. And therefore, the first six chapters talking about Jiva and second set of six chapters talking about Jagat and Ishwara is going to complete the analysis of Jiva, Jagat and Ishwara. Jiva and Jagat and Ishwara. And this way, Jiva will also know what is it that I am interacting with and who created that. Right? So this is what these six chapters they are going to cover. Now just as different sadhanas for Jiva were indicated in the earlier six chapters, don't think what is the sadhana for Ishwara. <laughs> Again, sadhana for Jiva is indicated in this set of six chapters also. But here the sadhana is not only as what he has to do by himself, how he has to understand his relationship with God. And that is known as bhakti, upasana. So, Bhakti Yoga is the primary topic as far as Jiva Sadhana is concerned. How to love God. And just as in the first set of six chapters, the emphasis was on Jiva's Purushartha self-effort. Here also there is another effort or Purushartha indicated and that Purushartha is surrender. Now one may say what effort is required in surrendering but actually lot more effort is required to surrender because if somebody says you do karma that is easier but it is said you do karma for someone that is where I have to have the bhava for that other person love for that other person And when it is said, you from beginning to end dedicate your total life for this person or God, without love that initiative can never be taken. So the sadhana for Jiva is Bhakti and the effort here is Surrender. 
and through that he will get Ishwar Kripa, Bhagavat Kripa, the grace of God. 